that's my dad. His name's Phil Huval. He's one of the most loving, hardworking, and devoted men I've ever met in my life. Today, he hit a milestone that many only ever dream about. But before I dive into that, I want to properly introduce you to him. Once upon a time, my dad was a musician. He always had a passion for music and for art and spent many of his teen years and into his 20s as a bass guitar player and singer in different bands, touring from town to town. It was during these years that he met my mother. Eventually, they would start dating and fall in love, and uh, before too long, they were married and had a family of their own. So over the next few years, my dad would realize that his passion and dedication for music would have to take a back seat to providing for his family. So he hung up his guitar and started looking for full-time work. My dad would eventually find a job working for a paving company on a construction project for the newly approved section of the interstate I-27 between Amarillo, Texas and Lubbock, Texas. Little did he know that this would kick off a 40 year long career in the paving industry. Today, just about anyone who's been in the industry for any significant amount of time in West Texas knows who my dad is. Uh, he was even chosen as a spokesman for a series called The Pros on Fox 34. And now the pros smart tip. To keep from having potholes, you must maintain the surface integrity. That means you don't want any water leaking through that will make it soft underneath. If you keep your parking lot waterproof, you won't have any potholes and it'll last a long time. Click the pros button at fox34.com. So my dad's had a long career with many ups and downs, a lot of late nights and weekends that he sacrificed because he put his family before himself. So when he announced to us earlier this year that he decided he's fine, that he was finally going to retire, we wanted to do something special for him. Working with his new girlfriend, Rusty, we started putting plans together for a surprise retirement party so that his friends and family could give him a proper send off. So this weekend we're headed to Lubbock and we're throwing him a surprise party. So this morning we are, uh, we're headed to get breakfast before we're, we're gonna go play golf. That's where we're gonna distract dad all day while the girls are setting up uh, the reception area where we're having the party tonight. Uh, he still doesn't know anything about it. So uh, like I said, Matt, Bubba, and myself, uh, we're gonna go play golf at Rawls today, which I've never played. I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. We're gonna, it's probably gonna be a rough day of golf though. Wind's blowing like 30 something miles an hour. It's gonna be probably what 103 today. Yes, yeah, so those are excuses that he's pulling out already. Yes, yeah, so I'm busting out the excuses early. So, uh, but yeah, we're we're gonna grab a bite to eat real quick at Torchies, and then we're gonna head that way to the to the golf course and meet Dad. So, uh, it should be pretty good. shooting fucking fantastically. We're the best golfers on earth right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, except for dad, get, he's pretty bad. We're gonna get sponsored. You know? we're yeah, gonna, I'll yeah. give you all a target to shoot over. Hey dude, he's he's just he's out here to make us feel better about our golf game. That's yeah. He's enjoying uh, his his technical first day of retirement on the golf course. So uh, we're at the turn. Uh, the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour. <laughs> 25 25 gusts to 40 or 50, you know, that's typical love at golf. It's, but it's cooler than it was yesterday. It's only, I would say, <laughs> mid low 90s right now. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Nice, so. I hope yeah. that's a very effective fluffy ball on top of your camera because it's going to be sounding Yeah, like you may not be able to hear this at all because of the, <laughs> the wind. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if you can't hear this, I'm sorry, but it's, it's going very well so far. We're all about three beers in, so it's, no one cares. We'll check back in. If this is retirement, end. I'm in for some long days. <laughs> That's all right, because you've got all the time in the world. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> we'll check back in at the end. Oh, so the, the back nine for me went better. I don't know how to go for you, back nine. That was pretty terrible, man. Pretty terrible? It's a terrible day. We had the wind blowing like 40 miles an hour all day. Uh, 
Yeah, it's still fun, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, Dad, I think, enjoyed himself first round as a retired man. I think it's second, like, I think second full round ever to play golf, so. But he had fun, so he still doesn't know anything about the party. I think we're gonna go get some wings or something to eat. Uh, keep him distracted while the girls are decorating. So here's your entry table, Dad. I made sure to get you a front end loader to remind you of the time that you almost killed three of your children. And I'm gonna find a way to hang little bodies off of it so that when you get here, you'll immediately know why it's there. <laughs> But I also have a night note. A nice note here with the music sheets. So it's a uh, yeah. dark humor on top of love. <laughs> I need to talk to Rusty. I said, this is she. No, it is not. Rusty is a guy. And I said, no, I'm Phil's girlfriend. Oh, well, you should be a guy. I, oh my God, he said that. He, he went on and on about how my name was not a girl's name. Oh, you say it's Rusty Bell. Come on. Yeah. And then he went on and on about, well, I'm coming. Mm, your treat thing. All right, I can't wait. I'm <laughs> Cleaned up. Uh, Dad left his card at the golf course to close out his tab. Let me see, this is a little dark here. Let me turn this up. Um, but we're headed back to the house to clean up. Then we're going to head to uh, what's the name of the place we're having the Vintage Township. Vintage Township. Town Hall. Town Hall. Um, he doesn't know anything that's going on. He just knows it's a surprise. Something's going on. Rusty won't tell him anything. So uh, we're going to get cleaned up. He's going to head back, clean up, and I don't know if we're headed to Rusty's. We're going to meet him there. Either way. Um, I'm pretty excited to see his reaction to everybody being there. It's going to be pretty cool. So, uh, we will see you later. things cause isn't love what it's all about and how to make you smile again something that i want to figure out i want to catch i want to catch you like every time that you fall i want to give you the world the world that is outside your walls if i was god i would save you take you where you belong if i could i would get something new something new then i would have what it takes make you feel like you're safe cause all i need is just some someone like you someone like you someone like Well, he could go to Silver Bullet. <laughs> now that he's retired, he does that shit every week. He no, could do it like for. two or three times a week. Some open jam stuff. I hear they need a new cook. <laughs> <think it's boring. laughs> you gonna work for Jeff? Yeah, now come to work for me, Phil. <laughs> I've got the perfect suggestion. I think you need to serenade the sexiest man you can find as soon as possible. That's you, baby. Just sing it. I just pretend like I'm retired now. And you know what I do? Nap. Nap? Nap. <laughs> nap. Just as more naps. Do it on a beach. Do it on a... Yeah. Beach. Take some naps on some iron. Come climb a mountain with your oldest daughter. <laughs> or just go to Putacana. 
Yeah. And we're all going to be jealous. Maybe invite the kids next time. Anybody else have any suggestions? I've tried to get one out of No, Amy. you already did this to me. She didn't know I was recording. I, I think you ought to be a greeter at Walmart. Would <laughs> <laughs> you like a basket? <laughs> <laughs> Live life to the fullest. <laughs> all right, I say, Phil, play your guitar in your underwear. Yes. Play guitar in your underwear. Not in public. Just while I'm not around. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, get yourself some rest. Scripture doesn't say retire, it says get some rest. And while you're getting some rest, you're going to be so refreshed. When you're refreshed, the music that was the gift that was placed within you as a baby is going to blow out. It's going to blow. Give us that music. Hmm. I would say Sleep travel in. as much as you can. I mean, there's so much to see in this country. Yeah, travel. Know, enjoy. Yeah. Enjoy. Yeah. Or travel, sleep in, sleep stay in. up late, <laughs> do whatever you want to, because yeah. there's other things to do besides work, I promise. Don't think about work anymore. Yeah, forget <laughs> work. thinking about this day but it was it was like dreaming about climbing a mountain sometime or something. It's it's almost hard to believe that it actually made it. <laughs> Wendell and Lisa made most of that journey with me. We started working together in the mid eighties. And uh, I can't tell you how dirty the water was that's gone under the bridge since then. <laughs> And other than my family, I've known y'all longer than anybody in here. I appreciate y'all coming. <laughs> Lisa's daddy was the one that started Lubbock Asphalt, and I worked for them starting in the mid-80s and worked at that same facility for 28 years. And uh, it wasn't always fun games, did it? Oh, no. <laughs> I was working my daddy. He was. But uh, like most people... They got into that business, we weren't looking for a career, we were just looking for a job, you know. I'd been enjoying playing music, but my family got to where they didn't enjoy steak one week and beans the next, you know. They wanted to eat. So I found a place where I could work at home, and I thank all those people that had a part in me making that journey. And all of y'all had something to do with it. And these people over here. <laughs> Lisa and I worked together. Liza and I worked together. This is Lisa, that's Liza. <laughs> she answers worked to both. I answer to Lisa. I'm used about to that. 12 or 13 years. Her husband's been very understanding about her coming home bitching about me. <laughs> and James and his dad, Ernest, we've known each other since the mid 80s. And these two, just by association, they're guilty also. <laughs> I just want to carry your bags to go see Willie Phil. <laughs> <laughs> when I started running around with Lyle, with uh, Rusty, she had this group in the, at this front table here that she was already associated with, a bunch of fine people that are coggers like me, <laughs> and uh, made some good friends. They, they have a, a way of uh, enjoying your age. <laughs> you know, nothing real strenuous. <laughs> Sometimes there's some alcohol involved. <laughs> They're good people and I'm proud to be part of it. And I, thanks again to my family. Y'all really knocked me down here. Coming from up around the border, Bridge and Canyon, Amarillo, Phoenix, Dallas, St. Louis. <laughs> This is what it's all about. Friendship. Family and friends, man. I'm a rich man. Thank you. Thank you.